Hello everyone. Um, today uh, we're going to explain and demonstrate how to make the delicious khao soy, which is a Burmese Northern Thai uh, curry soup that contains egg noodles. Usually chicken can be made with fish, can also be made with uh, um, any other kind of meat that you like, or even vegetarian style if you like, uh, maybe fried tahu, uh, tofu. Uh, so let's start with uh, the ingredients that are going to be necessary. I'm going to show them and explain each of them. Okay. Um, now, first, uh, we have, uh, we have um, the um, red curry paste you can see here. Um, you can buy in the supermarket, they call it Thai red curry uh, paste. And then to that is added, um, we have a small packet here, of curry powder, uh, about a tablespoon or so uh, we add to this. Okay, so you need to have curry powder and the red curry paste. And then in addition to that, um, we're using chicken. Usually chicken legs are, are commonly used. Uh, and um, so these are fresh chicken legs. This is a mixture of uh, red, uh, dried red chili uh, mixed with oil. So you mix this up in advance, um, just to your liking. It's more or less a, a seasoning that you can add uh, to, your, to your liking if you like a very spicy or not spicy. Uh, this is a chopped red onion uh, and these ingredients will go as toppings. We have the fried onions which you can buy already fried in an Asian market, lime slices, uh, cilantro, uh, and these um, in addition to uh, this pickled mustard green, or you could use pickled cabbage, also can be found in Asian markets. And uh, we've used a egg noodle that is uh, commonly used for cow soy. It's already been boiled a couple of minutes until it's done, uh, just the same way you would make spaghetti. And um, then as a final, uh, well, as part of the soup mixture, we're going to use both oil Let's see, I use a uh, rice bran oil because it's very healthy. And then also coconut uh, milk. Okay, so you can buy all these things in an Asian market. So now let's get started with how it's prepared. Okay, we come to the stove here and um, put some oil first and uh, then just a couple tablespoons. Next is um, the red curry paste uh, and powder mixture. Okay. And that's going to be fried in there. We got a good, I'd say there's a good half a cup of that red curry paste. So this is going to be quite a spicy dish as you can see. Um, no holding back from that, uh, that hot chili uh, flavors. So this is not a soup really for someone that doesn't like spicy food. So I don't think you would have probably tuned in if you if you know about cow soy if you don't like spicy food. Okay, so first we'll mix that and then let that mix in with the, the oil and, and release all of the flavor and the aroma. And then next we'll add coconut milk uh, to that and that will help to uh, thicken. We'll get a little closer there help to, to thicken into a kind of a nice rich uh, coconut uh, type of uh, curry soup. Okay, so that will need to cook uh, probably about um, two or three minutes until uh, you know everything is well dissolved and is, is boiling away. Okay. Uh, next we'll put the meat We'll fry the uh, chicken inside uh, this mixture and we'll cook that uh, until it's done. So the meat is uh, thoroughly cooked, uh, which would be a few minutes. And um, to that we'll be adding, okay, add a little bit more coconut. You like li nice consistency. It needs to be sort of thick, but, but really like a soup, not like a, uh, a traditional curry. So, let me uh, 